Now it's gonna be a five on five. five this is quite five. the way to start the game. Yeah, full flank here. Four players down long. Tig, it's just him to try and hold this off. He tries to find the first one. Oh! Looks good, and from long, the whole team helps out. It cuts it down to just Kusta stuck in a corner. His position is noted, and while the shock darts will find Tig. Yeah. Later and later we go, then 40 seconds left. Yeah, with at least one player on the other side of the map. Dazzle, making a bit of noise over in Garage, but that's really all it 30 is. Just seconds a fake. Left. Some empty pressure. Oh, the early recon bolt! So good from Kusta! It allows Nature to get himself two more kills after that. LG! Stuck up into yet another trap. Nature can continue to frag out. One more around the corner. But Spike still down over and long. It's a race for Dazzle to even get there. But look who's over and long. Sean! Sean can't get anything done. Sean can't find anything. Grabwell goes out. Five seconds left. Spike is down. Tig cannot win this round. But he just has to stay alive with his rifle. It's the only rifle that his team has. Sean coming out. Might take down Tig. And Nature kind of caught off. Still the tailwind to work with for him. Algram going up, but nature. Okay. Bit of a standoff for the moment. Cutting noise for now. You see the dog is coming out to re-clear space down C long. That might make Genji realize that this could still be a finish out towards A in the dark. That'll confirm it. Indeed it is. Kusta can he hold it down. He's gonna be able to get one with the Guardian, but the spray down can't happen either. Tig sweeping up two in the middle of sight. All three players for Gen G holding it down has gone down. Now we're down to the 2v2. Tig. Took the brunt of the damage early on. 31 HP left on him, but he puts up a cosmic divide. Look at this cheeky spot in front of him. Places a star in front of him. Can play a little bit with his nebulas and grab wolves. But again, LG. Not finding anything. Genji, they haven't gone out yet, but finally, out goes the flash. It's a double flash. Moves from under. Fully flashed, but he couldn't get more than one. Sean, well done with a double guiding light to bring in a single target. Couple players back over towards mid. There's going to be a whole lot of utility for Moose to run in. A is clear. Now over towards B, where LG is finally taking through the nebula. Kusta, good crosshair placement, and that's all that you can ask for. Big shot through the smoke, and now LG down to three. Yeah, they have the spike down here, but they have no space. And planning three players over on that front line. Again, temperature taking his time back over towards mid. Out goes the anti-guiding light. Tig going out alongside. Oh, alongside a proto, but Dazzle still comes in at the same time to try to help. Now it's a 2 one one Dazzle only has a D to work with. Ends up taking down temperature. Nature from around the corner still had the knives out in the right click. And this is already deeper than we were to anticipate. This take. Oh, exemplified by the Seekers, but Sean comes around the corner. Great timing once again off the Guiding Light. Seekers come out late too. Temperature, if I'm not mistaken, through a cage was able to do that. Moose, big shock dart towards the back of sight. Taking down Temperature, GMD. Can he defend the site? He's solo in 1v3. A proto and Moose still in the middle of sight. But the 1v3 is now turned into a 3v2. Everyone else from Gen G has joined up their teammate now towards the back. Now they're retaking early. Grabwell goes in. Excuse me. Nova pulls in the middle of sight. Goes in. It hits. Moose now in a 1v2 with nothing but a phantom. The spray hits onto nature. Playing time now and playing space. Kusa around the corner. Can't get a peek in. Moose plays the space right. Yeah, and a whole lot of ulties. One of them can certainly be utilized off that post plant, but again, temperature. Going to be able to get that first one out of Garage and Tig there for the trade. A little bit long-winded in GMD. Not able to take anything back on site either, and he's punished as he detours his way into Garage. A proto is there with cold waiting arms. Kusta and Nature. Now the last two remaining in a 2v4. Luminosity, it seems like they have the contingency plans ready on site, but again, these are still SMGs versus the rifles. Kusta going in, still has, oh, still has a Hunter Sphere to use. Turns back at the perfect time. A Proto's flank is gone. 3v2, one in the middle of sight. Kusta, oh, flanking in. Actually catching Dazzle, still too and long. Tig and Moose, winning up time. Moose hasn't utilized his, uh, his Hunter Sphere yet. The patience is good. Moose is finally going to use it. Kusta has to go in and try to fight, and the tap goes in, and it doesn't matter. It's down to half. Kusa's uh, uh, finally going to be able to get the kill, but it doesn't matter. Only playing up players in deep choke points and long is another great example of it, but nature. Oh, no. That just sucks. He runs into the wall off of the dash, and his teammate Kusta can't do more than just a single frag. Everyone else from Luminosity starting their way all the way up towards the A site, and indeed they're in the middle. GMD, can he stop it? Around the corner, gonna be able to get one out of the nebula, but Moose is there for the trade. 3v2 for the Pope's play. 
Oh, for the retake for something, the, the kind of win condition there was isolating Boost, but Moose did a good job. He, he kind of either needed to just talk up his good, they have three players ready for Gen G. Oh, Kusa! On the front line, gonna be able to get three easy ones! Running him right into his crosshair, barely any damage back. And Moose and a Proto, the dynamic duo, having to make their way all the way back into a 2v5. And look at the damage being done for the Shock Darts. Perfectly, but Nature turned in with the off. This time he's in mid, and Tick doesn't even look. Your boy Dre on that front end knows that there's at least Sean here towards that front line. But the guiding light, the timing is good again. Sean okay. has some more of a temperature, and with 54 down. HP, still a goes on to spray transfer. A Proto in 1v2. So this could honestly get interesting. It's not exactly a surprise to see Moose simply contacting in the middle of sight and getting the hell out of dodge. There goes LG with a massive rotation. And by the time Gen G is finally getting the spike down, everyone from LG is in the perimeter and making their way in. There goes the first guiding light. Nature on the back line can't get anything done just yet. Temperature with a big kill back. GMD going in with another. What? Stop hopping in from behind. Working on the walkups when he's combined with someone like the Sky, but in this round, oh, it's actually the speed coming out of Gen G and Tig. It's just obliterated by utility. Yeah, no, with absolute ease. Free rifle upgrade. Now your boy Dre still fighting back. Gonna be able to get one over towards the long side. Three players for LG trying to hold it down. One more long. Moose with two big trades. A proto is here to try to help him out with a crossfire. Kusta and Nature now the last two remaining for Gen G. And with that cage. A little bit more security. Owl Drone doing the exact same thing. Getting information over towards the long side. Nature now the last runner. Moose in that close corner. Maybe there's a chance. But again, Luminosi not giving anything away for free. We saw them going pretty aggressive for the fight out towards long break. Yeah, and LG's setup here. It's really heavy on A. They play three out in this direction. They can uh, at least make that at least a bit more of a certainty. A but that is wonderful. That is great. Dazzle. Using the edge of the nebula to catch Sean, and again, like you said, fake. They're coming back. Indeed, is coming back over towards the A left. side. Moose now with the first contact, and GMT is going to be able to take him down. Tick, can he take anything back over the cross? No, he cannot. So instead, LG looked like things were going all right for them for a quick second, but it's a man's advantage. Oh, this retake can be quick if they want it to. A proto plays close in the nebula, but Genji, they've had time to establish themselves in this post plant. But oh. look at that flash straight on through Dazzle and a proto both taking their frag. GMD does trade it out, but he's blinded. A guiding light in the face. It's Dazzle for one. It's cut down. It's just him and Kusa. But Kusa, he's earned himself the Hunter's Fury. He can play off that. But Dazzle oh, no. hounding him down. No. He doesn't quite know just yet. He's falling away. Now this Hunter's Fury play becomes all the more potent. It's a matter of timing. Can he get this half before the second burst comes through? It's half, oh. but he can't. What are LG even going to find here? Oh, look, they can cancel this. Temperature dying, that's fine. Cover up that A side, trying to smother it. Moose in from spawn is going to be able to catch Ten up with that flanker. Left. And Gen G, they now have to play this one out with only three. Oh, it's a good retake setup for LG. Five players ready. They still have the opportunity for the Blade Storm from Gray and the Dart. That should be coming up in just a moment. That'll be the hallmark of the retake. Guiding Light gonna start things off, ya boy Dre already into the back of sight, Sean, can he pull off anything? GMD helping out, GMD with three, HP is bad for Dazzle, 30 HP after taking on GM- And pop just yet, so you can find a timing, there's a good chance to get something done, but this rotation, it's ill time, they're all heading their way towards A, a gamble, which will not Revealing pay area. off as Genji will just let to hit this out towards the sea site. Kusta does find one frag oh. second as well. Uh, I mean, this is just going to ensure that this fake is bred into, or excuse me, is bought into as, well, there's one gun given away. It's a three versus four on the reef. Again, Vandal could help. All of this could help, but they're going in 3v4 style. One person playing anti-flash, but he's not actually able to get the kill. What just happened? 1v2! A proto popping up for three. Temperature in a 1v2. Playing out time. The retake utility works. The camera is up. Oh, the wide swing from Temp. But it's not going to be able to find the second. A proto sticking time in. No. He's not going to be able to get it. 40 seconds left. Gen G now around C. And there goes yet another great guiding light early on, but Dazzle's not going to be able to get anything off of it. Instead, in comes the hold. A proto on the front line. Can't actually get the second kill. GMD behind the guiding light. Nature playing 50 50 with the smoke, and it works out perfectly. Your boy Dre can't do anything about a trade. Instead, two players for Gen G over towards the back line. Moose has to hold it down. Kusta thinking about the cross. Your boy Dre with another pick. Kusta trying to play it on B, and Tig still takes him down. What just happened? At least chipping their way back into this. 
Sorry, right into the double door behind the Nebula, but he's not going to be able to find anything early. Hunter's Fury goes out, but Temperature's still able to find the kill. Kusta looking to make a little bit more noise. Your boy Drake down to 70 off the one ping, but he's all good. Everyone else for Gen G in the middle of C. This could be the game winner, folks. Four to four now in terms of man advantage. Kusta finally going to be able to get that plant down and a bit more laborious, but again, they were waiting out for the Cosmic Divide. LG waiting again in the perimeter, almost waiting for the Cosmic Divide to go down on the edge of our seats to finally get into this one. The Raycon Bolt lineup, ooh, real good at first, but again, Kusta has to go in right through the cage. Gonna be able to get the kill with the Moose. Sean, no players ready on this B site to be taxed. Oh, your boy Dre gonna miss oh, out no. on the nade, but instead it lands up like actually next to him. Potentially you can sandwich some of these players, but no, it's not gonna happen. Instead, Gen G, they still end up getting the frag. Nobody else from LG is here except for Moose Moose still trying it out. And in the middle of the orb, he's only able to get one. So if anything, LG, they're just trusty in the fact that they even have Five that trade, plenty. that they even have only a man disadvantage going back into this one. But however, looking at the setup for Gen G off of this one, they have quite a few players playing anti-flash. One person on the front lines could be Sean already with an early peek. But again, he just wants to hold on to this off angle, doesn't he? Waiting for people to come around the corner. The right click not going to be able to work. The trade from GMD comes in big. 21 HP left on the last. A proto going to be able to get one. 21 HP left on both nature and a proto. Kusta's up to 100. And ooh, the camera actually spots one out, but one straight. Pay attention to this plethora mosh that a util back over towards mid. That was a combo for sure. Flash out mid. Moose. Ooh, your boy Dre is there for the crossfire, isn't he? Nature going in, a Proto needs that help. Your boy Dre can't do anything about it. Two players out over towards Ramba. Proto can't get anything. Uh oh. The shot from Kusta hits. And now the cost Room, divide comes through. They it. put this one straight on up, and this post line becomes all the more viable because they can just hold on to that wall. LG is forced to push straight on through, and temperature has a good angle. Spike coming down with plenty in time and remainder. Dazzle wants to take Spike it. Planted. Be a bit quicker, though, waiting on the recharge of that second flash. This is so hard, that cosmic divide. They could potentially try to play it out as a 50-50, but instead Dazzle goes up, and temperature pops up for two! A firing range for the Scythe! All three of these players out in a way. Okay, scattering now off of the nade. They don't care, do they? Kusta's is gonna be able to get to Tig just around the corner. Needs a bit more to off the wall. Tig could have been able to get a little bit more. Dazzle could actually capitalize and potentially get one. He actually still wanted to approach back over to Proto. Me. A Proto is gonna be able to get one. It's a Proto, folks. He can you absolutely pull this off. One v two. Can he pull it off? They're not giving this to him for free peeks out. He's still completely healthy, Guts. 50 seconds left. That spike needs to come out. down. It's a bait off the camera. Another opportunity on the swing, but he doesn't find it yet. What is that? A Proto destroys Please. temperature, and now it's down to a one versus one. Kusta terrified in the corner, trying to jump in. And now the HP is so low, oh, and it's the easy one. He does. Kusta doesn't mind. That's just your boy Dre with the early anticipation. That was huge. The Seekers get everything with just about 30 seconds left. And now Kusta. Kusta can actually find a big pick over towards the other side of the map. But in comes the action. Five kills going all the way down the board. Approto now the last one. Here in the middle of sight for this LG team. Genji has full control. In we go. It's a five on five retake with these right no, no. Kusta gonna be able to get one on the silver platter. Can he make it more? No. Your boy Dre still getting another one off of that showstopper. All three players for this attacking side in the middle of sight. Two over towards elbow. One under heaven. Temperature watching out the first back over towards elbow. Gonna be a kill back for Sean, but dismiss only exists for Sean. Sean going in needs to take away the double spray down, but it's not gonna happen. Luminosity. So this is actually at least for LG if they want to make it back and this is quite the approach three players back over towards the mid side yeah, Viper's pit again stay up for an extra 15 seconds even when the Viper leaves so the rotation will be quick to aid on B oh. execute it but even quicker Dazzle though completely shuts it down it's a great grab well to allow it is now temperature He's up in a one versus oh. three. He's found the second an opportunity, but is watching this flank. This oh. could be three frags towards mid unless GMT can post up in time. And he just cannot oh, show him, though. Sean. Will escape on very low HP. Yeah, Sean's actually fine coming out of that. And he's running, of course, back over towards Kusta. Kusta, 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 Kusta. You gotta go back and heal your team, my friend, I think. Right? Yeah, there it is, finally. A proto gonna be watching one go right by into the middle of the A site, but that is really all the noise that LG is going to be able to hold on to early on. Gen G, all four players in the middle of the A site. Whole lot of utility back over towards ramp, and it's back over towards ramp that they have to pay attention to at least one flanker.
Yeah, that they do. Two out towards the spawn side. Sean was trying to post up, get an early frag. It doesn't work out. Now it's Nature who has to make up for lost space. Moose, though, finds a frag of his own. Now Nature, this role is even more important. Needs two from this spot. Finds just one for now. Another opportunity with the HP. Mm. The bullets, it's all too low. Take. This is just normal, stereotypical line up to oh, two stars in front. Oh, the grab well is going to stop Nature from making his approach over towards Heaven, but Sean still ends up getting the kill on to take. Dazzle barely with a headshot pixel, and he's still able to get the frag. Four players for Gen G in the middle of sight, two players for LG right in the perimeter looking to fight. Again, that Sage Wall still up. Moose right behind it. Nade goes in, scattering out the back line. Moose. Could go for a wild little 50-50 here, and indeed he's gonna try it! But Temperature gets a big shot, traded back for Moose. Two more players for Gen G, still in B main. This could be very dangerous for this team still. Indeed it is! Your boy Dre gonna be able to get the only kill in the back of B main. In goes the flank, person over towards heaven. GMD going in, Nature playing time! Nature playing time! GMD, where is he? He needs to get the headshot of Proto! Still gonna be able to get the kill, 10 HP left, and the pre-fire of Moose. As this is happening though look at the lurk from temperature he's so deep already he can backstab it are they gonna check hard clear zip oh, moose still good enough to get two he'll even escape the endeavor still forever temperature the flank is starting to come oh. through the timing could be good but moose is creeping up kusta trying to find the spam the angle is there but temperature ready only gets one kusta on the trade and the resurrection oh. to bring us back even to three versus three and the positioning here from gmd is good he can push straight on in take under so much pressure straight on top of each other the showstopper at the feet takes down the Astra, as it's now going to be Luminosity tasked with the retake. That that is... uh, hey, that's just an unfortunate series of events. That, that's all I'm seeing at the moment for Gen G. Anything. Instead, they are anticipating potentially one or two back over towards the main two players hogging the corner. Eberto going to be able to get the first, make it a second. GMD now in a 1v1 against your boy Dre. And your boy Dre does not lose those. Seven up out of heaven. In time for a take. Can he actually capitalize now? Out goes Kusta. Out goes the rest of the take for Gen G right in the middle of sight. GMD and Sean able to combine for at least two. Your boy Dre looking for more, but he goes down in a heap. 2v2 as the dust subsides. Sean will get that. The slow approach. Sean simply playing contact back in heaven, but a proto has gone down to ropes. And now it's only one. GMD in a 1v2 against Moose and a proto to close out the half. How's this one gonna work? They're aiming up for heaven. A proto's gonna miss out on his shot. Moose just going for the defuse. He's holding down to about half. Moose is sticking. Goes for the wide swing. But Boy, this is online. Almost, again, the antithesis of what their coach said, but again, Gen G, not exactly minding any of that danger whatsoever. Two players deep into B main, they hear the hounds going off, but Luminosity, they don't exactly want to stop either. Three players back over towards the heaven area, waltzing their way up. They see a tripwire on the front line. A proto's going to be able to get one kill back towards a flanker, but there's still two players in the middle of sight, including Temperature. Temperature gets up the first. Kusa had already dropped down from heaven, and Temperature continues to frag. Second frag back for Temperature, and for Luminosity, they only have two. Oh, Gen G, this is still not closed out just yet. One man, it's taken the clutch, it's good in it, but it's a one versus Ooh. three, and he's ran out of ammo. not the oh, knife! Wait, wait, Take wait, wait, wait. one, they're going for it! <laughs> <laughs> Temperature! <laughs> We'll have to see if this one is possible. LG pull out on towards the A side. It's your boy Drake creating the space. Over towards ramp. Sean coming up deep back over towards Sewer. He's in with good time. Moose around the corner trying to peek for Sean. Sean gets the kill. Two man advantage. Make it a one man advantage. No, two man advantage is back again. Nature goes in for the peek right onto Dazzle. And now, Tig, your boy Drake up against the ropes with Nothing potentially their final it. rifles. We'll have to see if they can get this one done. Dre. Holding up towards the heaven side, the spike is still yet to be committed. They want to fight early on, the building, but cannon fire hasn't broken just yet. The jump oh. for GMP from the elbow to shut it on. Again, yet another round where Gen G has actually opted to go for. Oh, cheeky setup in mid! And Sean peeks out a bit too early and Dazzle. He's just fine. He ends up getting that kill back. Kusta can't support either. Do have to wait up for Nature. Nature currently waiting up back over towards exactly. the mid side. Slow orb is down, but Nature. He's gonna end up getting pinged out. Position well spike known from Kusta mid. though, right on to Dazzle. Taking down at least the spike in mid. Everyone else from LG still in mid. 
that they are. Kusa wants to reclare a little space here. Maybe take a duel against Proto One. He cannot win, so an advantage given away. This is ballsy to take that Ooh. spin. The found no frag. Now they'll get it. So with the low HP, matter too much. Genji is fine with conceding this spike plant for Luke. Satchel out. And what is one flank? Tig still thinking about it, but he's back over towards heaven instead. A Proto still down to 18 HP. Good peek from Tig. A Proto coming oh, no! again. Low HP, but still not going to be able to get the kill. Tig with a two on one. Tig. At least I would like to hope so. Oh okay. my gosh. Okay. Okay. Surely. Name is JMD, folks. Learn the name. The guy can aim. Sick little shot, and again, it was all too risky for him to even go for, but G. Oh, okay. Okay. GMD! A second kill up close and personal with a martial off of the no scope. And just like that, down to a two on two. Sean and Nature go both going back over towards heaven. But as the two make their rotation and as the two are posted up, your boy Dre, shot to the system from behind. There's a showstopper, but will he even get the chance to use it? Dre has the perfect timing on the flight, Oh too. my god, Sitting. oh. They're blind, innocent, stubbed in the corner. Dre finds one. He has the discipline to fall away. It's still winnable for Sean, but the spike plant location... Actually, even better, does he suspect it's back towards the defensive side? It's Bond doesn't know just yet. Instead, he'll wrap around, try and elude the showstopper, but Dre sees him. Dre's got... Focus up here on Dazzle alongside your boy, Dre Nature. Almost caught with his pants down, but still going to be able to get a spray off. Showstopper going in. Gonna be able to get the full HP to your boy Dre, and he can continue to hold one more around the corner again. That's Dazzle. Temperature trying to hold on to sight. Nature wins out both of his duels in heaven. And just like that, Luminosity, it's them against the world. Oh, that it is. Two players here that Ten have to push left. up, try and take a fight well, for Tig. But look at that. That earns the Cosmic Divide, as well as having this Viper's Pit on standby. But look at the you spread. They don't have that much room to play around as Genji's forces begin to push in. Oh, Tig, Tig, Tig has the corner in. Gonna be able to take down Whoa. Nature. Still behind the Cosmic Divide. Going in for more. But another player is able to trade out. That's GMT. One more remaining on a 1v3. Moose. Really, it's a good opportunity still. That flash, the showstopper, might shut it all down. No. Dre plucks from midair. Oh, and GMT! Early peak! And he's gonna be able to get two off of the lineup. Dazzle and a Proto. The last utility in the world to clear out heaven. Three players are here. Nature might be the first contact. Whether that be Kusta, whether that be Sean, it's gonna be kills regardless.